This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Comet Ison is awesome. We're going to take a look at her on all the NASA fleet cameras that we can. And then we're going to cook it. We're going to color it. We're going to heat it up. And we're going to play with it with my special programs. So we'll get to see it in a couple different spectrums. When I say spectrums, I mean just different colors. All right. I want to hear some funky Dixie lamb. Pretty mama going to take me by the hand, by the hand, hand. Oh, Ison, take me by the hand. Yes, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. We are at Pre-Para-Helion. Or pre para Shelion, Since I've taken it upon myself to give Ison the female gender. Now, I'm excited. She's looking quite beautiful. And as I predicted, all those reports that Ison had disintegrated were total BS. Bullschlangen. Bullschlocky. Bullshit, really. Ison is alive. And I got a feeling she gonna make it through Perihelion. Isn't she pretty? It's cool. Comets are amazing. Often, when I mention it to normal people in real life, their response is like, is it gonna kill us? And I'm like, 99% chance, no. And they're like, why should I care about a stupid comet? And I'm like, well, I guess you're just like my dogs and my horses. And you have absolutely no interest in the stars and the heavens. That's fine, man. Different things for different idiots. I mean... Different things for different folks. You know what I'm saying? Whereas other people enjoy other things. Man, I've fallen in love with this comet. I've bonded with this baby. And I hope she's beautiful. I really do. That's all I want. I want this comet to just be awesome. Where you look up and there's this magic dragon. Streaking across the sky. With sparks and magic and wonders. It'll be like a spiritual divine intervention. I hope. Who knows? Well, period. Perihelion is about 22 hours away. On the 28th, I'm guessing, Texas time, anywhere from noon to 3. We'll be watching on the SDO cameras and stuff. and Try and get out a, another episode tonight covering all the facts and stuff. I hope you have some turkey. Unless you're vegetarian, then I hope you have some cheese. Unless you're a vegan, then I guess enjoy your bread and wine. I know, vegans allowed to eat grapes. Grapes can talk, so that means they're alive. So I'll be disgusted. Vegans drink wine. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's pretty simple. I'm just showing you the latest beautiful new shots. Thor News presents Ison is beautiful and she's on every camera in the world. Well, every NASA camera, really. Don't make me hypothecate your thoughts. I don't even know what that means. That's what she said. Because I say a bunch of confusing stuff all the time. Well, I'm trying to get as fat as Buddha. Because when you meet the Buddha, kill the Buddha. I said this to some guy last night. He got offended. He's like, there's only one God. Buddha is not real. I was like, all right, dude. Okay. All right. Okay, yeah. Let's just throw out all the Eastern wisdom, shall we? I'm a samurai, so I got to study from all schools, if you know what I'm saying. Man, wouldn't it be really cool if Ison could play rock and roll? So not only would she fly by looking gorgeous and magical, she'd be playing some grand rock and roll symphony. They get us all dancing and imagining a brighter, better future. Cause think about it, people. If we gave a war, it'd be so easy to fix everything on the planet real fast. And if everybody gave up blaming everybody else, if everybody took equal responsibility for all the problems in the world, we can fix everything pretty friggin' fast, man. I don't know. I guess a lot of you guys, a lot of other people addicted to status quo. Well, what can I do about that? I don't know. I'm going to keep thinking. Right. Thanks to everybody for watching. Thanks to everybody for being kick-ass. Thanks to all the awesome people throughout history who have helped build and discover everything that we have today. And from the bottom of my heart, I apologize the way the early settlers treated the Indians. Ugly genocide. Man. Oh. Oh. May God and the Great Spirit bless everyone, always, forever. Uh, yep. Man, you know what? I have mentioned that I, I really, really want to cuddle, like, way too much. I think the more I mention it, the less my chances are that I'm going to get to cuddle. But here's the deal, man. I feel like I've had almost superpowers of productivity in 2013. So maybe it is better if I do have to save Earth for me not to cuddle till 2014. If that's the case, I need to set it up to where I'm cuddling 
the very first second of 2014. Because I definitely deserve it. I'd say I'm a champion, but you know what? That would make me sound like an arrogant asshole. So I will not say I am a champion. All right. Icing makes me feel so fresh and so clean. Hey, did you notice that as Icing was entering the frame, the sun shot out a coronal mass ejection that looked just like a scorpion tail? Now I love all animals, but I am not the biggest fan of spiders and scorpions. So this is neither here nor there, but in metaphor, it is everywhere. Okay, one thing I forgot to point out in my video, because I assumed you were a regular Thor News watcher, so you are educated and updated. But, seeing as how this story is just now getting popular, you might be new. And the other comet you see near Eisen is Comet 2P Enki. It's a periodic comet. It's got a three to four year orbit. And it's pretty neat to see two major comets together so close in the inner solar system. An anomaly? Unprecedented? Who knows? Use whatever words you want, man. It's still a free country. Asterisk. And right now we are looking at the Comet Eisen 2013.co.uk website. And at 2.43 p.m. on November 27th, it says there's only 21 hours, 54 minutes, and 24 seconds till perihelion, which is due to occur 28th November at 1837.45 universal time code. Right now she's traveling at 156. Right now she's traveling at 564,000 kilometers a minute or 350,507 miles per hour. Keeps going up so I can't actually get the time accurately. And remember, Common Ison reaches perihelion tomorrow, Thanksgiving, and then it reaches Terra, which is closest to Earth, on Christmas. This is a special comet, the holiday comet. So let's use our holy days wisely, shall we? Head out on the inner solar system highway, looking for some action. See it, what a no distraction. Hey, what's behind Jupiter? All right, God bless everybody. Have a fantastic Thanksgiving. And thank y'all for being awesome. Thank y'all for watching. And I hope Common Ison brings deep space magic. I love you guys. Later.